Okay, for this one, uh, we're using a, a, a function called uh, lens correction. And what it's intended to do is to kind of make, uh, change the perspective again of the, of the photograph. And for this picture that you see here, what we'll attempt to do is bring the middle so it looks like it's coming forward. I'm going to go ahead and make an extra copy of the layer. And then I've got the layer uh, on top that I'll just go up here to my filter. The lens correction is right here, <clears throat> same place where we saw the adaptive wide angle, the liquify, the oil paint, the vanishing point. These are some of the newer uh, uh, filter effects. I didn't mean to hit liquify, so let me close that. It's called lens correction. Okay, and it does come up with a, a new interface. It's got the image in there, and there are some tools that will allow you to do some things that are pretty effective and you can you can use the tools that you see up in the left corner up here and bring kind of trying to trying to kind of bring the middle forward in this one uh, okay and so that that works um, you can also use let's see what's this one yeah to give yourself new horizontals and verticals Okay, hand tool. Okay, I like the interface that we find under the custom tab, and it's a, kind of a sliders deal. And you can get a very similar kind of a function here, make it more concave or bring the middle forward. And this is all that I really expect for you to do in this. There's some color correction stuff here that doesn't really have much of an effect on this particular picture. There are some pretty neat vignette things here where you can darken the corners of your picture and you may want to mess with that. It'll also you can change the middle point of the vignette so that it's bigger or smaller <clears throat> and you can also change the uh, vertical uh, perspective using this tool Ch pulling the background pulling the bottom forward, pulling the top forward <clears throat> or pulling the left side forward or the right side forward. Okay, and you can see that. And there's a, even a uh, little deal here for changing the angle of the picture, okay, which is really pretty neat and was not in my in-class uh, demonstration simply because I can't see, see that far down. You can also scale, and sometimes it's a good idea to scale this down just so you can see what parts of it you're losing what parts of it you've scaled away. If you'd rather get rid of that stuff by hand, you, sh you can scale it in and then you can just shave that stuff off later. If you leave it here at 100, it'll get rid of those outside edges for you. I'm just going to let it do it automatically this time and hit OK. Now you can see what the change I've made is I flip this top layer off and on. Okay, and that's really all there is to the lens correction. You just use your crop tool then to put the images side by side, do the labeling like you've always done, be sure to rename your layers, and uh, finish up your file and have, have it with a nice white border.